Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So about a week ago, I posted this picture on Instagram and a lot of you guys have been asking how I do my Dutch braids. So I'm gonna be showing you today. Um, I love doing Dutch braids when my hair is really oily or dirty. Um, it's also a great protective style in the winter, so I like to use them for that as well. If you're not already following me on Instagram, be sure to do so. I'll have it linked down in the description box for you guys. But I like to start off by detangling my hair. And then I split my hair into three sections near the top of my head. So the key with Dutch braids is that you're going to be crossing the side sections under the middle. So here I took the left side and crossed it under the middle. And now I'm going to take the right side and cross it under the middle. Once I've crossed them over, I'm going to start adding hair. So I'm taking a small section of hair from the right side, adding it to the right piece, and then crossing it under the middle. And then I'm going to be doing the exact same thing on the left side, taking a small piece, adding it to the left side, and then crossing it under the middle. It's definitely easier for you guys to watch what I'm doing than try to understand what I'm saying. So I just continue doing that all the way down my head. Just keep in mind that braids do take practice. This is not something that's going to come to you the first time you try it. It took me like a whole summer to really get the hang of braiding on my own hair. But what really helped me is learning how to hold my hands. The way I hold mine is just easiest for me. You guys don't have to copy that if you don't want to. Also keep in mind that your arms are going to get tired. So you're going to see me take breaks throughout the video. Your arms get tired. It's hard. You kind of just got to power through. I also like to fluff my braids out as I go instead of waiting until the very end. So here you're just going to see me pull out the little loop of the braid. I find that this gives me more control and I'm able to make it a lot thicker without making it look frizzy. And I just continue doing this all the way down the braid as I'm braiding. Once I've reached the base of my neck, this is where I really like to go back and make sure that it's as fluffed out as I want it to be. This is like the easiest time for me to do that and I find that I have the most control. And then I just continue braiding my hair all the way down and fluffing it out as I go. I also like to start brushing it as I work my way down. My hair is so long that it just gets really tangled and it braids itself together near the end. So this is just easiest for me and I like my ends to look as smooth as possible in the braid. Then I just like to go ahead and pull out some side pieces to frame my face and I also like to tug it out at my roots a little bit just to give it a little bit more volume and make it a little messier. Don't worry if you pull it out too much like I did here, you can always just stick a bobby pin in there and it'll fix it. And here is the final look. I 
I really hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.